Very glad you could join us on the Weather Network Thursday, August the 4th. We've got Kabir Bagaria, Jordan Reed on location. She'll tell you exactly where. And I'm Chris Murphy with you at Live mm -hmm. on Location. So, Jordan, I was looking at the rundown that you were providing for us. I mean, culinary delights. Yes. You're going to be talking about wineries and vineyards and uh, even some alpacas as well. What, what gives? <laughs> Absolutely. It's totally a jam-packed show today. We are in downtown Alexandria. It's just about an hour from Ottawa southeast. And we are proving today that you do not have to go far to get away. Of course, when you're at a staycation, you have to find a beautiful place to stay. I'm with Natalie. She is the co-owner of Aubert's Glengarry Inn. Natalie, your place is absolutely stunning. Thank you. Yes, we uh, spent a lot of time creating rooms that are unique with their own style and each room has its own uh, ensuite and um, with lots of amenities and um, we wanted to create an experience for everyone that wants to get away. Absolutely. Speaking of the exterior, you just have all this historic charm, the bricks on the exterior really feeling like home when you walk inside. You have a stone fireplace, a really nice renovated kitchen as well. And as you said, the room's so unique. Mine personally felt like Tuscany. You really brought in that Italy charm as well. And as you mentioned, this is a bed and breakfast. So Natalie, you cook for the guests. Yes, I do. Um, breakfast is included with uh, this day and we are offer a gourmet breakfast with uh, with every stay. Every stay, we had eggs, we had bacon. Of course, if you need to get a little run in before you go exploring, they have an amazing gym. And as well, you have a hot tub. Exactly, that's how we want our guests to finish their stay and experience and look at the stars while they're enjoying a glass of wine in the hot tub. Looking at stars, having a glass of wine, and how can people find you if they want a book? We are on, we have our website and you can book a stay from our website. We have Instagram and Facebook. Awesome. Okay, Chris, Kabir, what are you doing next weekend? You want to go to Alexandria? I think I'm just changing my plans now as we speak. All right. Thank you very much, <laughs> Jordan Reed. Let's take a look here at our for weather systems for today. Uh, a lot of humidity pumping up ahead of this front that brought thunderstorms, even tornado watches and warnings in parts of southwestern Ontario yesterday. And our big low moving across the prairies, heavy rain to the north, thunderstorm potential to the south. Let's talk about some of those temperatures, though. And look between Cornwall and Ottawa, it's going to feel close to 40 today. Toronto, Hamilton. Hamilton, Niagara, upper 30s, not as humid in Windsor, and the uh, but this more or less almost stationary boundary is just going to reinforce the humidity all the way up to the east coast for the next number of days. So hot and humid weather, we've got to stay hydrated, and with it will become almost the risk of daily thunderstorms as well, including today along the 401, Highway 20 and 40 near the state of Maine, along the border there, some of these storms could potentially turn severe. We'll be watching through Quebec today. It's going to feel like the upper 30s despite the cloud cover and risk of thunderstorms. Much of the East Coast is going to be dealing with very hot conditions. And throughout the program, we'll be dealing, detailing the thunderstorm risk across much of the prairies today as well.